boys like Mexico! Woo! Wow! No downtime. At all. Ever. Got a surprise here that uh, something that I kind of need. Uh, you can probably guess by looking at what it is. Oh, that's not smooth at all. But there's a thing about what it is. If you want to come over here, little Miss Camera Lady. <laughs> this is a new 4G63 for my first gen out there, Eagle Talon. Now, beautiful thing about this, if you look at these numbers right here, 88,000 miles on that motor, and if you show them down in there, about the cleanest motor ever. So, I'm gonna get this hooked up and off the trailer, get the trailer out. It's like a car brought in, and eventually work on that. So, yeah, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Thanks for coming. All right, sounds great.
typical first gen crop rod. If I want to use it, factory tailpipe. Now I'm thinking just the factory tips is probably the only thing I'd want. But I've hung on to it just because. There's a bunch of turbo gaskets, which, you know, like that one's garbage. I don't know why I don't know any of this stuff. That one's garbage. But the uh, turbo line is okay. Just need some new crush rings. Turbo parts. Now this is an important piece. Just the downpipe, turbo downpipe. It's in good shape. So I can go from here back with bigger pipe. Make it uh, a little bit funner, louder car. <laughs> Got some bloody, bloody, got some bloody. The belts, I guess, you know, they're like practically brand new. Oh. He blew the motor up and replaced all the belts. I don't know. AC compressor. Don't know what I'll do with it, but. Well, I know how to do it. Motor mount, that's a necessity. Oil pan! With the turbo drop line, I'll need this for the thing in the jiggy over here. The other thing in the jiggy I'll need is the soap! It's okay. Then I got a factory water pump, which again is, is it's, it's brand spanking new. He just put it in, I think. I don't know, maybe. It's stuck! Filled. All right, that's how it should look. This is your throttle body. This is your throttle body on EGR. <laughs> EGR is like exhaust, gas, recycling, valve, or whatever it picks your unburnt fuel back into the intake from your, from your car's tailpipe. Tailpipe's your waste, let it go. Um, <laughs> turbo inlet. Yo, the charge pipe, the charge. Oh yeah, alternator is dirty, but dirty is dirty. I don't know, I'll have to get stuff tested. You can get stuff tested at your local parts store. Or I these can test. I got the turbo intake pipe, OEM. It's got your, your turbo cycle valve. If you put the right filter, wow, I'm talking, talking to the belts. If you put the right filter on this, um, you can hear the blow off valve a little better. Especially if you put a tighter spring in the wall valve that releases a little harder. I don't know what I'm talking about. But right now. Oh boy. Well, I've blown a crap axle, so this is garbage. Well, oh, maybe. The CV has life, so a new boot. That's the thing I love about this car, but also it's different about this car from all the cars that I've had TSI wise. Which is kind of good, kind of bad. This long axle. I mean, she's a two wheel drive, not an all wheel drive. I've always had either a 1 8 two wheel drive. I had a 2 0 automatic two wheel drive that was just a parts car once. And then I've had uh, the 185 speed, which is fun. Then I had the 2.0 turbo all-wheel drive TSI, but I never had one that I could smoke the tires and have fun with. 
This is that thing that causes your, your intake to cough, you see? It takes the exhaust in here and bleh, it back into your intake. Mm. Garbage. Now, key component for parked car, mouse traps. I have caught mice in this step. Keep checking them, keep fresh. Keep your cars from getting destroyed. You want to start a breed? Cut your air box. Yeah, these ones have a very restrictive intake on them. So this is the thing, if you put a can in on it, you're good. Uh, why is this even inside the car? Oh yeah, because I moved. Oh, radiator. Beautiful radiator, except I think it's got a hole in it. Yep. Here is where your EGR valve is. And here's where it takes and sucks it back in here and then blows it right back into here. And see, it builds it up full of crap. Builds it really up full of crap. Um, so just put a piece of metal over that and block it off. Factory. Look into a lighter flywheel. But my flywheel, my OEM clutch, needs to be replaced, I know. Ah, but I keep together for the books. And just so I know what direction the clutch goes. Factory motor mounts that kind of failed. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 I got, I got you, I got me, I got my egg sauce. Needs to be, it looks like it's already been polished a little bit. Yeah, it's it's been polished. But I'm going to do a little bit more polishing to my exhaust. Header. Uh, and my down pipe. Return. Recyclation. Recyclaka. With their cool custom silver paint job. Chrome. Oh, it's such a pretty color. It's so much crap. Transmission cover. I've had so many of these cars that I look at these parts and I know exactly where they go. This is called a government required crap add on piece that with an old enough car you don't require in this state. I don't think, maybe. We'll find out. Or I'll disconnect them. But yeah, let's, let's assess what went wrong with this car. Um, a little bit of pitting there. Um, a little bit of pitting there. This can't be, I guess, too bad. I mean, these gouges you can feel with your nail, but I don't know. Maybe you could polish it up. What do you think? I don't think so. I'll show you where the actual fail happened in this motor. Can you see that? Focus, focus on that. That right there, and that, yeah, it lost, it lost a couple um, cam bushings, and yeah, I believe one of them, one of the lobes was actually flat, and so that's what happened to this motor we paid a turbo. I believe this, yep, yeah, this is a talking belt, I believe. Listen. 
OSHA approved lifting, you want to reach out. You want to reach out as far as you can and lift entirely with your back. Take your legs completely out of the equation. I'm just kidding. Um, you want to use one of those, a nice cherry picker to uh, pick up stuff that's very heavy. Or you want to work out a lot <laughs> and work on these cars a lot. And another beautiful, beautiful, my wrist really hurts, thing about the two-wheel drive versus the all-wheel drive is transmission's a wee bit smaller. Can I even get it this son of a gun, monkey? It's my beautiful transmission. This one has blown out synchros, is what I've been told. In all honesty, the engine ate a <laughs> the engine ate a turbo. I'd almost be willing to bet with the flush and the fluid change, this would be okay. But I don't know. I'll look into it. still parts in here. Last time I lifted one of these seems seems like it was just you know yesterday. But I guess it was a shot. I only got one of these. Here's the nuts and bolts for the operation. Everything taken out as the car is taken apart. Piece by piece, individually bagged. By yours truly. Woo! Yeah! A cheap blow off, blow, blow off control solenoid blow off thingy and an O2 sensor. <whistles> yeah! Crank it up! Crank it up! A fair chunk of the reason of why I bought this car. Because even if I do nothing with this car, what I paid for this car, I have in a box that came with the car. Um, I categorize this all and put it in the box, but I, I, I looked through the car before I bought it. Um, I think the car was like $600. Not running, but it was supposed to be a runner. Might have been six hundred. Anyways, this is the stuff I love. Uh, coil packs are good. Timing tower, good shape. These are hard to come by, pristine. And these are all good parts. But that ain't, I mean, ARP head bolt, brand. Spanking new, you got the stickers in the box, you got the bolts in the bag. 
The brand new head studs. Never been used. You know what that means, boys? We can build this. Factory turbocharged injector, so it doesn't matter what engine I got. I'm gonna just clean with it. Lots of extra blinkers, but it also came with. Look at that valve seals, head gasket, uh, valve cover gasket, cam gaskets. Ooh, oil pan gasket, front side of the engine gasket, crank gasket, balance shaft gasket. Got all those, so. I guess that's, you know, that's got to be worth something even if nothing happens with this. Now these, I don't know why I saved these. They're all bagged up, bagged up and banged up. But actually a good reason I saved them is because I think the connecting rods are okay. But the pistons, this one might be okay. I think one of the pistons shot, yeah. So. I guess hang on to that for the connecting rod, but. Yeah, I'm going to show you the brand new water pump. Brand spanking new tiny belt. So. I guess I got at least a hundred dollars here if I sold that, right? Well then, what's in the box? I wonder what could be in this box. Maybe it's some. Um, look at that! Some pistons! Silly. That's some pistons. Just kidding, that's not so many of the pistons. Uh, I don't know which ones these are though. Doesn't that sound funny to say? These are Mishwishi Chrysler Eagle Talon 4G63 B over at Cam. 16 valve turbo, 89 to 92. First generation six bolt engine. So here's another set of pistons. Look at those. These are oversized. They actually seem pretty decent. Use them if you need them. I don't think they'd be very good. Oh, and what's this? What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious, I've got some points, I've got some points inside this box. Sorry, all the seals, exhaust gaskets. Oh, look at that, a brand new bag of lifters. Oh, we got some bearings in the front plate. Look at that, we got everything. Everything to rebuild this in from top to bottom. Should have been a sign when I bought the car that it needed it. Which, you know, it's a 4G63. You assume it needs to be rebuilt when you buy it. It's just the way of the 4G63. And the people who own them, they only sell them because they break them. Got my boost gauge, go psh, 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 psh. Make it spin around. Psh, psh, psh. Shoot flames out the back of the go. Psh, psh, psh. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kind of stupid. Got another ECU. Need a control unit. Wiring harness. Don't know why I need it. But new throttle body. Starter, coil pack. Just some spare parts. Came with it. Oh, Ooh, another fuel rail. I didn't even know that. Box full of turbos. Hopefully one's good. Don't know yet. Haven't really gone through them, but they said there was a good one. They also said this was a runner. Instead of catch can, they had the nice vent, and they put a tube on there. So now, before I learned anything of the catch can, I used one of these, but I didn't use two. Invented. Oh yeah, all the. Government issued crap I don't want. I don't bought help. So it's a waste of tubes. Ah, nice. Nice noise. Put that bit of turbo. Y'all gonna make me lose the mats up in here. 
up in here. Look at that visor now. Up in here. Broken down. That sucks. Um, yeah. In all of its 90s glory. I love it. It needs a little bit of work here. A little bit of work here. Ain't nothing. That ain't but a thing that don't scare me. Just some glue pulling loose. You attach that as long as the foam's okay. Which hopefully it is. Ceiling's down, foam shot. So that needs to just be stripped, clean, and painted. Actually, a sunroof should be put in. That'd be nice. I love these things, so they're such a fun little car. Said, oh, it's 90s glory. <laughs> Drive backwards like Brian. Just kidding. Sorry, that was stupid. But yeah, look at this. So clean. So clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty dang clean. For a Minnesota car? Not from Minnesota though. Oh, clean. Yeah, this is not plastic. But under the plastic looks pretty good. From what I've seen. Not sure if it's red or pink. This is, this is what happens when you use your snowblower in the winter. <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid. What's under there? Lots and lots of potential, right? Right. Lots of fire hazard stuff too. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Don't worry. Don't worry. But the problem—that's the damage section. It's all crushed in. And this whole thing back half inch. Got hit. Right there. Pop. Not by me. So I mean I could I could try to cut the seams out and redo that. This bumper is just held on. Held on, I think, with bolts and zip strips, maybe. Maybe not even zip strips. But just trying to get that bumper straight. That's not a TSI bumper, that's a regular bumper. It looks all right on it though, but I love the pop-up headlights, they work. This, oh, I love that. So, so beautiful. So beautiful, just kidding. Stuff that can be fixed. This roof tar, roof tar, come on. The hatch, I don't know what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna fix that. It's, there's no rust. It's all clean, 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 clean. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, 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 clean. But there's a bunch of roof tar on it. That's roof tarted. Sorry, that was a stupid pun. Get the back dash in it. Get my subwoofer in it. I'm gonna leave the Sony stereo that's in it. In it. Ooh -wee. I'm probably going to leave the, the rims. The funny thing is the rims look a lot like the rims on my 2001 Eclipse. Or two, yeah, it's a 2001 Eclipse. Uh, even though this is Eagle Talon. It should say TSI. Maybe it was never meant to be a TSI. Maybe I need to look this car up. Maybe it's just a two-wheel drive. Huh? Lots of clearance in this car. Could use a bath. Could use a lots of stuff. Could use a tube front end, maybe. 
Could use an engine. It's in good shape. The only problem is that's not a turbo engine. So, yeah. You can run stock turbo at low boost to it, which is probably what I'm going to do is just throw it in like it is. Make the car run. That's, that's what I'm going to do. This is just a couple hundred dollar engine. I'll be honest with you. I think I paid 300. Yeah, I paid 300 for it. I think it was either 250 or 300. And uh, oh, a lot quieter now. Anyways, uh, bought this motor. I, was, I thought it was a turbo. Uh, all I saw was a picture. It's just 4G63. It is a 4G63, but it's the naturally aspirated non-turbo so what i'm thinking about doing and actually what i will probably do now that i think about it more is uh set that down because that's kind of dangerous ah i'm gonna hook that up with stock turbo run it at about 10 psi boost just to get the car running i'm gonna get the front end fixed up somehow pull that out maybe i should just pull it out and bend it straight Factory fast, baby, factory fast, do a weight reduction to it. Have it making those cool turbo psh psh sounds through the big exhaust, you know, soon. I've got all the parts on this engine. Oil filter housing, everything to go onto it to make that a turbo. Everything, I have to replace this tube. This, because they got the fittings for the turbo. Gotta change the engine mounts because the engine mounts are different on the turbo. Um, to fit room for the turbo, maybe I don't know why. Um, that might be about it. The intake's gonna have to be changed because the turbo's got extra, got extra vacuums. But in all honesty, I could just those leave them because every single one of those gets eliminated. I think except for the one that runs the. Uh, Boost controller. It ain't even on this motor. The injector's got to be swapped. Polish the intake. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, boost tube's going to get swapped on it. Find the tire and put that engine down. Um, there's this ring on here that See that ridge how it sticks out When you come over to this guy You look down that one doesn't have a ridge And this motor is toast Needs to be bored It'll get bored it'll get bored and bathed and Bored bathed and built so that's the game plan. Put that motor in there. Pretty much as it is, just freshen it up, look it over. But I'll probably just leave it a lot the same. Um, yeah, should be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, get it all fresh to fit in there with these. Beautiful engine mounts. I'm gonna have to replace those. Do something with it. That's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna really get this car running. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a Rob Zombie. It's gonna be like a Ruby. That's the professional way to clear that. No, the professional way is to wait till it's not, you know, 40 degrees and wash it. You know, I'm truly blessed. I'll say I'm truly blessed. I've, this is, I've had lots of talons before. I've tried to build them before. 
always crammed in, in a tiny garage in my mom's garage. Thank you, mom, for always letting me build talons in there. Uh, one time when I was living with an ex, Emily, we built it in our tiny garage of our little apartment. Um, yeah, pretty much throughout my whole life I've been building on these talons. I forget a lot, so I don't remember a lot of occasions and where at, but mostly my mom's garage. And this, finally I have enough room where the talons in here. There's a sole wheel in here, I got a four wheeler in here. In all honesty, in a crunch, the four wheeler could go up here. The snowmobile could go up here, I could fit a car in here and work on it. If one of my cars breaks down, not a problem. I've also got my Eclipse sitting in the garage. I've got my go-kart, my mini bike, my motorcycle, everything in a garage, a boat in the garage. It's, it's amazing. But the other amazing thing is I've got all this room. All my parts are out, laid out. And let's, let's, let's do a video by and show you all the stuff, you know. For my AC Delco. Just kidding. Yeah, we got the motor naturally aspirated 2.0 with 88,000 miles out of a 91. So we're gonna we're gonna push her a little bit. The factory block on my engine stand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gonna need some cleaning. The OEM transmission, all the exhaust and intake, and turbo galore. Look at those turbos. Oh, yeah. Not all meant for this car. Yeah. Those parts. Those lots of parts. Spool turbo sounds. Insert here. Oh, look at that spoiler. Let's see. I just put the spoiler. Spoiler. Just kidding. I'm, I need to get this roof tar off, though. Anybody got any ideas on that? Stupid roof tar. Oh, I love it. See, it's solid. Solid. Beautiful car. Damaged car, but she's, she's, she's beautiful. She's got a little bit of a lip problem. Huh? The lines are straight. No rot. Look up close. No rot inside. We expect to find it. She's going to need some clean. I'm done and some painting, but I love it. I love it. And this side just as sturdy as that side, except for this needs to be glued back up. But oh, is that rust? Is that rust? I found my first sign of rust, and it's just a little bit of. Is that rust even? Or is that a sticker? That's a sticker! Ha! I thought I found rust. That's a sticker. There's no rust. This car is beautiful. Beautiful. No rust where you expect to find rust. Even taking it apart, none of the bolts were seized. I, I took everything out inside an 18 by 18 garage. With Kylie's help in my old house. All with hand tools. I didn't have I didn't have an air compressor even then. Didn't have the impact. I didn't have the heater. I used a little Nipco. Right now it's not. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it's not heated out here right now, which is what I'm fine with. It's good. It's got to be. I mean, it's above freezing. It's close to 40 degrees out. Probably warmer in here. Hmm. Stoked. Stoked. Excited to get some vroom vrooms in the boom booms in the bomb bomb bomb. Give it a round campaign. Just kidding. But yeah, you see the hail damage on the roof. That's the headline has got to come out, and I'm gonna see about popping those out. Maybe if I heat them up, heat them up, and then a cold rag and just. 
pop it with a mallet maybe. I don't know. Try something. I'm just so excited. I'm tickled pink. I want to just drop the motor in like it is. <laughs> do, like, do some Fast and Furious scene stuff. Just put the camera right here. And just like drop the motor in tonight and drive this thing out of the shop. When I brought it home, I was so excited. I hooked the battery up. All the electronics work. The power seat belts work. The radio works. I hooked the jumper up to it. And I put some spray in it. I was like, I want to hear this thing fire. There's no muffler on it, the, no turbo on it. It was just the exhaust bolted on. And, like, and everything was working like as it should. I checked the plugs, they looked beautiful. It's like, what's going on here? So I went and rented a scope and looked down the cylinder, and sure as could be, the valve, a couple valves were stuck open. And you could see a crack in the piston. One of my pistons has a big crack in it, so they need to be replaced. That's why I went with the oversized ones. Um, anyways. Yeah, I was kind of devastated then. Then I was like, well, this car is a god, it's garbage, throw it away. But I was, I was looking at it and I just started digging into it, took it apart, and now it's finally gonna do something with it this summer. Go make it happen. Go make it happen, Cap. Go get, go get some love and some spit shining. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, I'm just gonna get some love in there. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. We've been on the road in eight years. Little antenna 90s flare right there. I got an automatic one I can put in there. I'm excited for the spoiler. I love the spoiler on these. Look where it starts in front of the flipping mirror. Knife flying through the air. And I think I'm going to recreate this detail on this if that's factory. I, I think that might be a factory one. If it is, ho 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 ho. Mm -mm. This is gonna be unique. No, I don't know. I'm gonna show. Gotta do some research because it looks like some work was done here, but maybe that's factory. That might just be factory and sun fade. Should I paint the engine bay black like most people do? It's, it's perfect. I could pressure wash it and polish it. It would nice. Yeah, those work beautifully. They're nice and tight. They're not wore out. They ain't been used too much. I'm rambling on. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I gotta work on that car. My back is just. Oh. You know, I could start working on that tonight. What do y'all think? I'm gonna go see what Kylie's doing. I drank a Bang Energy drink today. That's the problem. I think I'm gonna work 